Before I uh, introduce our first uh, speaker, uh, I would like to share with you a general observation that um, uh, came out of uh, not only last meeting but some discussions. But the city's charged with providing uh, basic public services, uh, public safety, public works, maintenance of uh, facilities and grounds. Um, activities that go beyond this are uh, uh, special events, uh, uh, people who would utilize uh, for their own purposes uh, public utilities, groups that would uh, reserve uh, sports fields and things of that nature. And uh, council establishes fees for those uh, services and use of those facilities. Periodically, they're reviewed and adjusted. Now, recently, council has uh, adjusted, and when I say adjusted, that in most cases means the price goes up because prices generally go up in everything. But uh, not just in special events, but uh, water service fees, uh, recreation impact fees, uh, building zoning, uh, planning fees, uh, all, all of have uh, uh, been adjusted. And these fees are charged because the services that are provided fall outside of the general day-to-day -day, uh, norm and operation of, of uh, local government services. Uh, essentially what they do is benefit a particular group or individual. Now, policies such as the special events policy are administratively established. And policies uh, are for the day-to-day -day orderly operation of the city. Uh, in fact, um, policies, and I will commend our manager and staff, are, are very uh, pragmatic and, and very flexible. In fact, uh, uh, some of you may have received uh, an amendment to the special events policy that the city manager promulgated just since the last city council meeting because he was uh, listening and he heard that there may in fact be uh, circumstances when the fees that are established could be uh, a hardship. And so uh, he has added that to the uh, uh, special events policy. And uh, any of those of you who would like a copy of it and haven't received it, just uh, let any of us know and we'll make sure that uh, it, it's shared with you. Now, events are great. They add a element of, uh, of uh, panache to the city, uh, to the community. Uh, but whether those events uh, are for charitable purposes, whether they're for recreational purposes, whether they're to uh, raise money for uh, that particular organization, they still fall outside the general realm of, of, of government. So. This council, I think, prides itself on being a uh, responsible steward of the public treasury. Uh, we are very aggressive in uh, pursuing our tax compliance because it's not fair for those who do pay to have others who are obliged to pay not to pay. And through the efforts of uh, our finance committee and our finance uh, and tax departments. Uh, last year, we were able to uh, procure six figures of quote found money. Uh, we do want to make the taxpayer whole. We're here to be charged with protecting the interests, the convenience, the comforts of all the citizens. And while events are great, they have to be expected to help 
offset some of the costs for their operations. Otherwise, we're being unfair to the taxpayer because just like if you don't need a new water tap or you don't need a building permit, there's no reason for your neighbor uh, to pay for it. So it's, it's a matter of being responsible. And this council, I think, with its action, uh, acting upon the recommendations of the city administration, uh, put together a very good and fair uh, special events uh, fee structure. The city manager has made it known that if anybody feels sufficiently aggrieved that he or she thinks it's an undue hardship, there's a process to address that. But at the end of the uh, discussion, it's important that while we don't want to eliminate anybody, anything, the fact of the matter is we must make sure that we're controlling and identifying costs and that events are regulated. So with that, it's your turn.